hey guys welcome back to the channel today my name is Osire May and if you're here for the first time thank you so much for stopping by please hit on the subscribe button and also please turn on the notification bell as well so you are notified when I post a new video on this channel today we're going to be quickly taking a look at how you can draft your very own skirt pattern a basic skirt pattern it's very easy it's beginners friendly so if you're interested in seeing how to draft your very own um pattern definitely keep on watching and let's go into the video so these are the materials that i'm going to be using to draft out this pattern and the measurements you'll be needing to draft your basic skirt pattern are your skirt length your waist measurement waist to hip measurement your hip measurement and then your bust pan which is also referred to as your nipple to nipple measurement so now the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to take this point here as our center front and you know when you're cutting out a skirt your skirt is going to be in a fold so we're going to take that side here as the center front and this part i'm marking right here is going to be our template for the waist so this here is going to serve as my waist and after marking out your waist the next thing i'm going to do now is to um, mark from this waistline here to the length of my skirt so let's say this skirt is going to be 22 inches you're just going to mark the length that you want the skirt to be and what i'm going to do is also to um, extend the line as well with my ruler so when you're true with that the next thing you want to do is to make use of your waist to hip measurement so you're going to measure from your waist down to like the middle of your hip and for me that was eight inches and i am marking it right here as you can see so after marking that so we have our waistline our hip line and then the full length of the skirt here now the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my waist measurement here on the waistline and my waist measurement is 24 inches that divided by 4 is going to be 6 and i'm going to add 1 inches to 6 so that i have 7 that 1 inch i'm adding is going to be for the dart then after that we're going to go down to the hip line which is where we are right now and my hip measurement is 36 and that divided by 4 is 9 inches and i marked it right here and then from that hip point i just went up by one inch and you're going to see what i'm going to do here just make a curve to join these points together as you can see so guys this is my hip curve right here after getting that the next thing you're going to do is to measure what you have here on your hip line this is actually optional you can just decide to extend the hip line all the way to the end of the uh, skirt but i want it to be a little bit slanted so up here on the hip line i have nine inches that's the hip divided by four so i'm just going to remove half inch from what i have there so i marked eight and a half inch here and i'm just going to extend the lines to meet each other as you can see like i said before this is totally optional you can decide to just make it straight but uh, and as well you can decide to go in as deep as one inch it depends on how tight and fitted you want your skirt to be so that's all for that part now we're going to make use of our bust pan measurement which is also referred to as our nipple to nipple measurement to get our that and for mine is six inches and that divided by two is um three inches i marked it and then i went out on both sides by half inch and you remember i left one inch earlier added one inch for my dart and from the middle of this point i made i went down by four inches and what i'm just going to do is to join my points together like this to meet the four inch point i made and after that i'm just going to slant the other half inches to meet that same point as well So uh, that is ready and we're almost done with the front part of this but um, another thing we'll quickly do is to go up on this side of the skirt by about half an inch or one inch. It all depends on how much inches you want to add to that part and then I'm just going to curve it to meet the waist and then extend my waist line sideways to meet it so this is basically all for the front part of the skirt I'm just going to cut it out now.
so this is the front i'm just going to label it front so that um because i'm going to place this on the other part to get the back part so after getting your front pattern getting the back is actually very easy so you just place another piece of pattern on the side as you see me doing like this the only difference between the front and the back is that the back is going to have a zipper allowance so on this point here i'm marking about one and a half inch you can decide to go out by two inches i'm just marking my one and a half inch point as you can see and what i'm going to do afterwards is to just use my ruler to join these points together in a straight line so that i know that the two and a half inch or the one inch or the one and a half inch whatever you decide to leave out is going to be the zipper allowance so this place right here is the zip allowance zipper allowance whatever it is that you call it so after marking out your zipper allowance like this the next thing you're going to do is to just place the front part of your pattern right on it like this and you're going to place it on that line before the zipper allowance as you see like this so when you place it you can just decide to hold it down with pins or if you have celly tape you can hold it down whatever it is you can use to hold it down just use it you can even put a book on top of it um, if you're doing this at home it's totally fine so I'm just holding it down right now with my pins so that it doesn't move from um, where I want it to be So after holding everything in place with your pins, it's actually very easy. I'm just going to trace out every other part of this front pattern except obviously the zipper allowance that I'm leaving at the back. Another difference between the front and the back apart from the obvious zipper allowance is the dart area. So for the back, I'm just going to extend my dart by 1 inch. Um, so that means for the front, we went down by 4 inches. So for this back part, we're going to go down by 5 inches. So I'm just going to redraw my dart and I'm going to take my measurement from that line that I had earlier, which is this line here that's where i'm going to take my three inches from and then i'm just going to mark my dart again and instead of going down on the point this point here by four inches i'm going to go down by five inches and i'm just going to connect the dots just the same way i did um, for the front pattern So guys this is all for the tutorial this is the back and then we have both the front and the back patterns here so one thing i quickly want to say and remind you about is that when you are cutting on the actual fabric you're going to add stitching allowance to all the sides of um, this pattern and again when you are cutting the front don't forget to cut in a fold because the front is in the fold so this is an example of a skirt that i've made with a similar pattern it's very easy um, and this here is the slit area and then up here we have the zipper allowance so that's basically all we've come to the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you actually find it helpful let me know in the comment section what you think about it and if you have tried it out you can definitely send me pictures on my instagram it's going to be right here um i'll see you guys in my next one bye